Hi Carla users! This tutorial shows how to build Carla in a Linux system. There are two types of installation in Carla. One are the release packages, self-contained binaries that run a specific version of the simulator. The other is to directly build Carla using the GitHub repository. The build process is a bit more tricky, but it will allow you to run Carla as a developer using the Unreal Engine editor. The simulator can be run normally using the API and all the different features, but there are some additional possibilities. First, the build can be updated anytime to run with the latest additions made by developers, so there is no need to wait for a release. Also, the build makes for greater customization options, as the simulator itself can be modified. This obviously requires having some understanding of Unreal Engine. If you are only interested in using the released features, it may not be necessary for you to make the build. Give it a thought to make it clear what your intentions are. And then, if you are interested in working with the Carla build, follow this tutorial. The build process is detailed in the Carla docs. The easiest way to check it out is going to our website, carla.org, clicking on documentation and going to the Linux build page. During this tutorial, we will follow this page step by step. The index on top will allow you to visit specific steps of the process. There is also a command summary right before starting, which contains all the terminal commands used during the installation. Once you are familiar with the steps, this may save you some scrolling and provide you with a bigger picture of the process. There is also a frequently asked questions page in the docs, and any issues not stated there can be solved using the issues section in GitHub or the Carla forum. Before starting, make sure you read the minimum requirements to make the build. If your system does not meet these requirements, remember that the release packages are still an option to run the Carla simulator. First of all, let's install the necessary dependencies for Carla and Unreal Engine to run. This process is quite straightforward. Copy and paste the bunch of commands and simply check that no error message appears. The only thing to note here is that there are some commands that change depending on where your system is Ubuntu 18 or a previous version. Make sure to choose the ones that fit your system, which in my case is Ubuntu 18. Now that the dependencies have been successfully installed, there is one last pre-requirement. In order to make the build, we will clone both Carla and Unreal Engine repositories available in GitHub. That means you will need a GitHub and an Unreal Engine account. Also, as the Unreal Engine repositories are private, both accounts have to be linked. It is no headache. Simply create the accounts and make sure to activate them. You should receive an activation mail on the fly. Once you have both accounts, go to the Personal panel in the Unreal Engine website, click on Connections, and then Accounts. There should be an option to connect GitHub and Unreal Engine accounts. Click on it and sign in if necessary. It is time to finally start with the build process. Again, this will be no headache. Just a matter of copy pasting the commands that appear in the docs. First, we will make the build for Unreal Engine. This has nothing to do with Carla. The simulator will run using the Unreal Engine editor, but Unreal Engine is a much bigger thing itself. Clone the repository. This shouldn't take long, and it will create a clone of the GitHub repository in your system. The path is stated last in the command. It can be changed, but if you do so, make sure to change the following commands accordingly. Get into the directory to make sure that it exists. Now it is time to install a patch that solves some visualization issues when using Vulkan. Again, inside the Unreal Engine directory, copy the commands to download the patch file and apply it. Finally, it is time to make the build. This will take a long time, probably around an hour or two, but it depends on your system. Run the command and go do other things in the meantime. When the build is finished, test Unreal Engine to make sure that it runs smoothly. We will not dive deeply into this. Copy the command line to go to the specified folder and run the editor. 
any errors that show during the build of Unreal Engine have more to do with Unreal Engine than with Carla. You can create an issue in our GitHub site or ask for help on the Carla forum, but we can provide with limited support here. Try asking on the Unreal Engine forums directly if you have any issues with the Unreal Engine build. Ok, now the time has come to finally build Carla. Optionally before starting, run the following command line to download ARIA2 and make the process a bit faster. Once again, copy and pass the commands to clone the repository. Remember that if you change the root or the name of the directory, the following commands should be changed accordingly. When the repository has been cloned, get into the root directory and download the assets. These are stored separately to reduce the size of the build. The assets downloaded with this command are the latest stable assets. There is a way to download the latest assets in development, explained in the update Carla page, though this is not recommended unless there is a specific reason to do so, as these are still in development and are not stable. This download will take some time, so it is a good moment for a coffee break. Now set the environment variable so that Carla can find Unreal Engine. And finally make the build, first the client side, and then the server side. This will take long too, especially the server side, so you can rest on now, this is almost over. When the simulator starts, it will look grey and dull, leave it there for a while as shaders etc have to be compiled yet. One last thing before running the simulation. It is very likely that the one default configuration of Unreal Engine will make the simulation run really slow. Go to the Editor Preferences Performance section and disable the Use Less CPU Running Background option. If any issues occurred while making the build, remember that you can check our Frequently Asked Questions section, open an issue in GitHub or post in the Carla forum. If there were no problems while making the build, it is time to test some basic elements. Press play to start the simulation, and then run the following commands to spawn some vehicles and pedestrians and create a weather cycle. Now, we have a Carla town with some life and ambience in it. Once you have finished with the Carla build, it is time to have some fun. Play around with the simulation, read our docs, especially the first steps and the Python API reference, and follow other tutorials.